The Chinese government has expressed shock after a consignment of laptops and projectors donated to Kenya's parliament, reached its recipient empty. Chinese embassy officials in Nairobi said the gift of friendship had been part of a pledge by Mr. Kao Jianming, the vice chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress NPC, of China, who had visited Kenya nearly four months ago. Mr. Kao, who became the third senior Chinese parliamentary official to visit Kenya in five years, had asked the Chinese embassy to facilitate the delivery of the goods. We were shocked to be notified by the National Assembly that when the container, containing the laptops and projectors, arrived in Parliament on Tuesday, July 30, and was opened by Assembly officials, it was empty, said the Chinese Embassy in a statement. Mr. Michael Tsai Lai, the clerk of the National Assembly on Thursday said the container tag diplomatic goods had been opened in the presence of senior officials but had nothing inside. Upon opening of the container seals, it was confirmed to have been empty, Mr. Silai said in a statement. Mr. Silai said he asked the detectives from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations DCI, attached to the Parliament Road Police Station to look into the incident. According to the Embassy, the consignment was duly dispatched and was expected to be delivered to Parliament in July this year. Diplomatic goods It is not yet clear whether the equipment was removed from the container before the shipment arrived in Kenya, or after it had landed in the country. Normally, under the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, goods tagged diplomatic cannot be opened even by customs officials at the ports of entry, except if the sending or recipient diplomatic mission agrees to it. By Thursday morning, the agent tasked with delivering the goods, Balor Africa Transport and Logistics Limited, had not responded to the inquiries. China National Enterprises Limited had been assigned by Beijing to send the goods. The embassy says it is shocked by the development and is working with security forces to investigate the incident. We believe that with professionalism of DCI, this matter will be resolved and the equipment recovered with their intervention.